found us a place to sit while they lowered the trailer. Brandy, the uh, sweet lady who owns this place, she put together my own mixture based on what they're feeding their longhorns this time of year. So it will not look the exact same as the old feed. I'll show you real fast. Stuff. You can see a whole lot more of the minerals in the old, the winter stuff, the, the weight gainer, I think. Anyway, it's pretty cool looking stuff. We'll see how much our cows like it. Yeah, my tractor would never lift my feet up that high. Hey folks, Lester here, uh, Longhorn Lester's and I'm a Survivor Sanctuary, and today we're making a really fun video featuring both the guys, a drone, and some really cool walkie-talkies we were gifted. These over here are called, I'm guessing, the Retrovis, Retrovis series. I'm not sure about that, but uh, today I'm going to have the boys go hide anywhere along the 20 acres here at Longhorn Lester's. I'm going to take the drone, fly it up, and try to find them. First man caught is out, and the game is over, okay? They're going to hide the best they can. There's only one rule. You cannot go in the pasture with Carl. That's our male ostrich, okay? Anything else is fine. Uh, they will communicate using walkie-talkies. I will only be able to find them using my drone, okay? So where are you going to be, though? I will stay right here on this side of the yard in the shade. All right, I've told the boys the parameters. They will not go inside with Carl. I also said 10 minute max. I will not fly that drone more than 10 minutes. So if y'all can survive 10 minutes, you can win, okay? I will holler when the drone goes up. I will also holler if the game is over, okay? Any questions? No. All right, good luck to you both. Uh, give me a few minutes to get my drone in the air, all right? Hide and seek using the drone. So the way this works, you got to boot your drone and boot your camera. Now the drone right now is underneath the awning of, and it cannot be under metal awning. I put the drone here in the yard somewhere while it warms up away from any obstructions. We do not want the drone to fly away on me by getting interference from the metal. Now I can sit over here with my controller in the shade and work this, which will be fine. All right, we're loading everything together now. This is a lot of fun, friends. Give me just a moment or two to get everything set up, and we will get going. All right, boys, here we go. Ready or not, here I come. Ready or not, here I come. So I could not find them. I took the drone to all of the places I thought would have been 
good hiding spots. I went behind the barn. I went behind the loafing shed, behind this barn over here. Where were you at? Where were you? By the cinder blocks. Not under the barn? Not under the boat, right? Sheesh, where's Lex? Where? I can't hear you. The entrance? Yeah, I'm next to him. By the road? Yo, where are you? Huh? Oh my gosh, Connor. Radio to him? Yo. Oh my gosh, he's down by the entrance? I did not even go that far. Oh my goodness. Let him know the game's over, y'all won. All right, the game's over, we won. The 10 minutes are over. So the walkie-talkies worked out great for us. You can see that Lex is down there about a half a mile at the entrance. Connor's here, they're communicating just fine. Uh, to us, the walkie-talkies are a lot of fun. For the kids this age especially, man, having so much fun with these things. That was just one fun game that we've played. But don't forget, the walkie-talkies could be used for all kinds of situations. Uh, as a farm hand, I'm out working around the farm. Jay may need me, she can you know, radio me anytime. And, uh, of course, if there was an emergency situation, you could change the can channels and find your emergency can channel at some point. So, there's a lot of neat uses to have these walkie-talkies for. We're blessed to be able to have them. And I want to thank the kind sender of these things. They seem to be very heavy-duty. Reading about them, they're waterproof. And just a whole lot of fun. Connor, how fun is that to use? Connor, how fun and how easy are those? They are fun? Yeah. They're easy too. Connor, so I'll ask you the questions first. Did it ever get close enough for you to hear it? Uh, what? The drone. Yeah, very close. It was like right above you. It was right above you. I just never looked down. So you had fun there. It was a fun game. Yeah. Lex, did I ever get even close to you? What did you say? Mm. Did you get close to him? Mm. Did you ever hear or see the drone? I came all the way to the end of the pond and I just kind of scrolled around. I never saw you though. One last thing about these walkie-talkies is they do come with a really neat chargeable stand here. Uh, you plug it in one time and both walkie-talkies sit down into it. They come with multiple channels. You can change the channels based on whatever you're looking for as far as communication goes. You guys who are more familiar with CB and walkie-talkies know what I'm talking about. And uh, this is just a really neat set. They feel very solid to the touch. They're waterproof. And we're just really pleased with them. So thank you so much to the wonderful sender of these things over here. All right, friends. We are just back from Tractor Supply. And we got ourselves a brand spanking new Harrow. Now we have one of all three properties. Uh, I'm going to take this thing right now. And we're going to head over into our round pen. You guys know we've had a lot of work going on with this thing all week long. Last night we got some torrential rains that have really, well, it has really changed up the look of the round pin. We're gonna find out if we can get it back into tip top shape and it's all gonna start with this machine right here. Y'all come with me, it'll be fun. Well, you can't do too many jobs alone these days. Girls always wanna help. Look out. Yep, settle down. All right, settle down. Stella, you stay right there. I can't really drive with y'all like this. Hold on, Stella. Y'all better be sweet to each other. Millie, be sweet to Fiona. Uh, vice versa. Just be sweet, everybody. All right, so the first problem we're going to have is trying to get the harrow up and over We may have to go into four wheel drive for this. I don't know for a fact. Nope, we hooked. We hooked. I was afraid of that. What we've done is we've hooked onto that bottom bar. Hush it up, Trixie. I gotta figure out what I'm doing wrong here. So we got the drag part down which that is important. We want to have the drag down. I think we'll be okay with that right there. Look out, Trixie. Look out, girls. 
Stella, if you would sit on the other side, it could help me a little bit. All right, we're in. We are in. I'm going to set my phone up to record as we just drive. What we're going to do is just make big circles and drag and drag and drag and drag and just clean all of this up best we can. I'll set my phone over here where it can record us. So what I think I did was just kind of spread some of the sand out a little bit. We got a little bit of a mixture with the clay, which is nothing wrong with that at all. We wanted to have kind of a blend mixture anyway. Now, we lost a lot of dirt, France. That rain took a lot of our soil away. We have a divot running down right through here, and it goes all the way out across towards the pond. What I'll do is wait until we get a couple of days of dry weather I'll bring my tractor by and I'll scoop a lot of this up best I can and I'll just put it right back over inside here and try to spread that out and then I'll come over here where we have a whole lot of other issues and then I can scoop all of this, this is a lot of dirt here I can scoop all of that up actually this should be further back to here you can see where it's moved, but I can scoop all of that up, kind of pack it in over here again. We have a very large crater over here has to be filled in, uh, but we have a lot of extra dirt over here as well. So I don't know, we'll play with my tractor first and figure out what we can do. We'll spread some of this over here back in good, level it all up nice. And then once we figure out what we'll need, we'll get a hold of our friends over at Victory Dirt and have them bring us a load or two. I'm thinking maybe just kind of a topsoil. We don't want clay. We don't need straight sand either. Just some topsoil, we'll keep it all blended in and we'll be back in operation in no time. All right, looks good. And that harrow is a very nice investment. Every farm needs one of those. It's the best way to keep your pastures clean keep your ground aerated and you can run it on the smooth side to kind of spread stuff or on the bottom side where it can kind of like rake up your ground a little bit in the process it will rake up all kinds of leaves limbs pieces of wire and everything else so we love the harrow all right one job down sweetie you did a wonderful job ride with me both of y'all do great both of y'all are wonderful. Don't let your troubles fester. Come watch Longhorn Lester. <laughs> yeah, something like that.